Alrighty. Six times the charm. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bashuli and welcome back to Dark and Darker. This is about the uh, sixth or seventh time that I've tried to record this episode. I've had a myriad of um, technical issues. Either the game's audio doesn't record, or my voice doesn't record, or I forget to even start recording. So, hopefully I've, I've succeeded with this one. So, since the last time we've seen each other, heard each other, watched each other, since the last time we were here, um, there have been updates to the game. Warlock was buffed and then very much nerfed. I'm going to restart my character because I did things and it wasn't recorded. It doesn't feel right to have it to have it happen off screen and i want to explain my um choices and decisions i've made regarding how to play warlock now um basically for two days or so this skill demon form a blood pact was strong and then to this day they just made it impossible to use which was unfortunate because demon form allowed players to play melee and now you just can't with demon form at least this is all coming from an inexperienced player and all i know is from what i've seen other people play and say I haven't been able to really test it out because I've only played one match. Tried to see if the recording went through, saw that I didn't, and just gave up for the day. I don't really have much time to record. Let me accept all these quests. Basically, the way that I will be playing Warlock is, is sort of a melee focused playstyle. Fortress from Mastery, the perk that allowed you to heal from your uh, spells got nerfed. They made it so all your spells are uh, cost three, three times more than they usually do. If I remove this and go to my spells, this little number here shows how much they cost. All of your spells as a warlock cost HP. In the exchange of you being able to use it all the time. Other classes, as far as I understand, they have either cooldowns or a limited amount of times they can cast a spell. So Warlocks, this is how much they cost to use their spells. But if you equipped Torture Mastery, they are tripled. Previously, it was only doubled and that was fine. But now that it's tripled, it's a little bit, little bit harder to play. Um, Torture Mastery. I will be using it only because I need to level up. And I don't have all my skill slots. Once I get, say, to level 10, I can switch over to the build that I want to play. Which involves using Shadow Touch, uh, Vampirism, and Anti-Magic, and then Demon Armor. Maybe. Under Demon Armor, I'm entirely sure. I'll be playing a sort of stealthy, ambushy, roguey kind of playstyle. Where I use these shadows and jump on people if I need to. But for now, until I level up, I'll be using Torture Mastery. Oh, the spells that I will be running are Curse of Pain, Bolts of Darkness, and Flame Walker. Crystal Pain will be my bread and butter. As in, I will cast it once on an enemy and then switch over to my melee. Um, Bolt of Darkness will be ranged attacks, especially against other players. And Flame Walker will be to run away. I won't be using Flame Walker to do the whole um, um, mobbing with it because now that Torture Mastery increases the cost so high, it's very much not usable 
at least for me as a as a new player, I'm not confident in my skills to be able to use this and not just, you know, kill myself. So a flame walker will be when somebody's running at me. This is when somebody's running away. And this will be for mobs and enemy players. And the weapons I will be using are going to be... Let me just get rid of all these. Um, Falchion and the shield. And a magic staff as my second hand. This is what I will be using to cast um, spells. Because it adds 4 magical damage. None of the other magical options give me 4 magical damage. And I believe healing with torture mastery skills of the magical damage. So this will be better in the long run. My... Healing items and my torch. As for armor, I don't have anything unlocked. I haven't done any of the, the quests. And I don't know if I will be switching over to plate. Um, plate gear with demon armor perk. I might, but I'll, I'll think about that later. So that will be my... My year. And let's see. I've done this video about five times where I explain the quests and I explain the a leaderboard and how you can't do any of this as a new player. I've explained all of this as well. But I'm just gonna try to make sure that this video works and then explain all this stuff. So I'll just... Oh, okay, Goblin Caves. I'll just go in and hope for the best. So... The playstyle that I will try to emulate as a warlock is the playstyle of another YouTuber by the name of your boy Blin. I'll... See if I can put a link in the description. He plays fighter, uh, plate armor fighter with a sword and shield. And the way that he plays is very interesting. He uses a lot of the darkness in game to his advantage, which is something I haven't really seen any other player do. And I kind of want to emulate that as a warlock. The warlock is my favorite. My second favorite class in D&D, the Jins and Dragons, which is why I'm using it in this game. But my favorite class is Monk, which I don't, it's not gonna be in this game for a while, from what I've heard. And the moment that that class comes out, I'm never looking at Warlock again. Unless by then I've, um, bought the... But the class upgrade. So breaking barrels and breaking uh, crates, usually in them, there's a lot of good stuff. So it's a good idea to break them and check what's inside. Oh, there's a chest in here. Um, I need to make space. I have... It would seem good. Oop. Take these. I won't take any of these. Uh... So I'm going to make some darkness so that I can look through with the stuff that I picked up. And hopefully not, you know, get attacked by mobs. Alright, uh, this armlet. It's not all that great, at least for me. First of all, I can't even use it. I'm not a fighter. What, what, but with the demon lock perk, uh, demon armor, I would be able to use this. Well, it doesn't have any of the sets that I would like. Uh, the blue modifier sets. Magical interaction speed only helps out with portals and shrines, as far as I'm aware. So for me, this would be a waste of space. I can't use this either. So, and like, what was it? Gray? Blue? Oh. I just used my, uh, my, uh, Phantomite skill. Unfortunately. So... That was not good. Let me see. It was, yeah, it was white gear, so that's useless to me. Always oh, in a lot of time here. Can't use that. 
also can't use that. And I can't use that. These are normal or white. They're better than what I have. Because mine is gray. Leather cap. Magical penetration is really, really good. So I'll take that. And these are blue. So I'll, so I'll keep them because they're blue. Alright, let's move on. Alright, I need to take off... My potions. Because if I'm gonna be in the darkness... Potions light you up. And you're easy to see. So it's better to have them unstacked. And right click them whenever you need them. Ah, okay. So let's actually kill something. Oh, hello. I the uh, mummy again. So... not good. Starting to panic already. Uh, hopefully there are no more. Okay, there's one more. I need to stop and actually deal with these. Otherwise, I'm just gonna die. This guy is the most, uh, dangerous guy. The archer. So I'll try to kill him first. So I can't see because it's dark. Imagine you can't either. Oh my god. Jumping away is much faster than uh, backing up with the S key. You take a move, move speed, uh, and let's see. And you just back away. So it's much better to, to just. to jump away. Did he die? Huh? Oh. It's Archer is... This is why I was saying that the Archer was the most dangerous enemy here. It's really, really dangerous. While you're dealing with other mobs. Dead. Oh, I can't see. No. I should be using my shield, but I'm not very confident. Oh, jeez. I'm not exactly confident. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, good. There's another player. Fantastic. Uh, give me this. And I heard somebody break something this way. Oh. I'm just gonna undo. Oh. Oh, it's gonna hit me. I don't know where the player went. Hopefully he didn't. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Uh, Eddie. Oh, that ended that one. I should have phantomized. I wasn't sure if he would catch up to me, which is why I didn't use it. Well, I should have just used it. I should have left through that open door, too. I don't know why I just went walking straight. So that was unfortunate. Um, I was one EXP away from leveling up. Sad. Right, um. I think they nerfed the EXP gain. From what I can understand. It's a lot slower to level up. So that that will make it that'll make getting all of these unlocked uh, slow. I had reset my character before that um update that nerfed the EXP. So I wasn't I was caught I would have kept my previous character. Then again, I did Delete it so I can show from the start with commentary on like the uh, the first video that was silent. Um, since we have a little bit of time, let's talk about uh, the free to play model. I, I guess basically, uh, free to play players are limited to 
only be able to use the normal dungeons, which is these. Hell, they're limited to only one character, which I hope they change. I hope they let us buy at least two more character slots with gold. Make it like extremely expensive. Say 5,000 gold the first slot, then like... 100,000 or what have you. We can buy under market pace, which you can only unlock after reaching level 20. And I'm waiting like two days or something. Uh, three days. Oh no, that's for selling. Um, yeah, you can buy stuff in the market, but I feel that that's a little, a little bit of a waste as a uh, free play player, because the reason why you would buy gear on the market is to basically um, make sure you have the best stats you need to run your build. And that requires a bunch of gold. Let's go into the dungeon. That requires a bunch of gold. And while you can use your gear in normal dungeons, you'll be placed in the, uh, what people call mid roller. Because the uh, rank mode is high roller. The one that lets you do leaderboard stuff. Uh, rank mode is high roller, mid roller is geared normals, and low roller is what I'm doing, I think. Which is going under 25. Under 25 gear score. I'll show in a second what I mean by gear score. One thing I would like them to do is that um, make it so that you can see how much gear score a, an equipment piece will give you. For example, whenever this loads up, I can show you that I should have eight, I think. That's my gear score. Hello? Alright. Whoa, lag. So I have eight. Oh, here's my gear score. And I wish that they would put in the tooltips how much gear score each piece gives you. That would be... that would be nice. Alright, so before we go inside, let me unstack my shiny ornaments. And I don't know where I am. Have I been on this side of the map before? Oh, this is the mining area. There's a quest to mine cobalt, but I honestly have no idea where to go to find that. I don't know if that stuff down there is cobalt. So blocking in this game is kind of scuffed. Um, your weapon, uh, the, the enemy weapon has to hit your shield for it to stop. But if the weapon hits you at any point, even if it hits the shield, it's just automatically just better than what I have. It still hits you through the shield. So it, you have to block perfectly. Oh, jeez. Missing my... My curses is really bad. Because, first of all, I'm missing. And it costs more HP now. So I'm losing more than I gain every time I miss. Well, I'll grab this, only because I don't have time to look at it. Oh, this is iron ore. Oh, this leads outside. I'm not gonna go there yet. I'll loot up here and see if I want to leave, because there's an exit here. If we look at the bottom right of the map, is that a... That looks like an archer. If you look at the... Bottom right, on the map, there's a little blue icon. That is a stairway. That should let me... Ex oh, good. Wait. That one hit me in the head. Oh good, he broke the door. That's exactly what I needed. Oh good, there's a wizard I think. Yep. Fantastic.
He has the high ground, which is not good for me. I need to get up to him. Problem is, he is a wizard. And wizards are the only class that atomize. It's not exactly the best. Not exactly the best. Should use my shield actually. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm... Ah, I just went into my little... I'm dead. 100%. Die already, please. I'm 100% dead. Best. That's the wizard lets me just... heal up. I know what the wizard's doing. I'm resting right now. This probably is not the best idea, but it's letting me heal up. And the wizard just sitting. Oh, what the wizard's doing. Okay, here he comes. I did this open up. Oh, bad. I curse him. Oh, there's more than one. It's a. Uh... So there's a roll gear now. Uh, up to Phantom Eyes. I don't know where the wizard went. Oh, the wizard got killed by the... Ed. Unfortunate. We had a uh, rogue show up. What could I have done differently? Hmm. I don't know. I did get stuck in that room to heal up, which was fine. And I think... I think it wouldn't have been as bad if that rogue kind of showed up. He showed up at the worst possible moment. I, uh, I cursed the wizard. So I had a little bit of... of an advantage there. Hmm. I was lower than the wizard. He did run away faster. Maybe... Maybe I could just run... Just the sword without the shield? I don't know. I don't know if it was a skill issue on my part or if there was literally nothing I could have done. Let me see, I have one more slot. So I could... I could put on the Curse of Weakness. Who knows if that could have helped. I'll have it on, just to know. Just to have it. Let me put something else in case I find... a uh, gear here. Oh, that's a lot of magic damage. Maybe... just see if I can get this to work. I've never used it, so I don't know what it does. But it seems to deal a lot of damage. So it won't hurt to have it. Oh! Flame Walker. Yeah, I could have Flame Walker. I completely forgot about that. Maybe that could have helped a little bit. I'm not sure. That rope probably is just gonna kill us anyways. But I'm gonna wait for this to roll over and do one last raid. Hopefully, I won't die in this one. Wait. Well, I wanna switch out. I'll keep... I'll keep the same build. It's 
So Flame Walker and Phantomize maybe could have helped me there. He was on me really quick. Now that I think about it. As I Phantomize got up on the bridge, turned around, he was right there. Uh, let's have a good, clean, easy run. Just let me get out with whatever I have on me. So I believe I was talking about my favorite D&D class. I heard that the next class that they're going to uh, add to the game after they add the, uh, so after they finish the Druid, is that they're going to add Sorcerer. So another magic class, which is fine, but I would have liked It's just go away. Okay, good. I didn't get stuck. Uh, excuse me? I thought he died. Oh, that's... Oh, there's a way up that way. So, he hit me on my legs. I should couldn't block that. Which is why... Oh, right. Oh. Uh, somebody died. Oops. Oops. So at least I could show off a little bit about the whole having the pots. I uh, need to make sure that I put my pots in a way that I must memory and so learn where to click. Because I just put it in a different spot than I did the first time. Oh, whoa. What the heck was that? I lied really badly there. Bad. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. So I'm just running without any idea where I'm going because that player just scared the crap. Ah, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, Flame Walker. Saw the amount of HP I lost using this, right? I lost a lot of HP. Be between between uh, that bat, oh jeez, and the centipede here. I'll be able to heal up enough for me to not die instantly. There's a health shrine. This is a health shrine. I want to kill these things. Oh, he's running away? Is he eating? Nah. I want to kill these things and hopefully... Oh, God, I got it. And use that health shine. I'm pretty sure you... Oh, geez, did I miss? Oh, I hit something else. I know this is slow and boring, but honestly... I'm, I don't know what else to do. This is doing no decent amount of healing, actually. In honesty, it's better than the other way of healing now. The way that everybody else is... Jeez, I keep missing. The way that every other Warlock player is gonna heal now. It's a, um, it's called Hydroid Heal, where you summon the Hydro and then use Life Strain on it. It's faster than this, I think, but honestly, it's super boring. You stand in one place, can't see it. You stand in one place and just heal, <gasps> and that was a good shot. 
And that was not. Until this, but that is dead. I, I don't feel comfortable fighting this sense feed. Oh, it's dead. All right. If I remember, oh, okay. The poison trail. I, I did see a video on how to kill every mob in the goblin caves. I forget who made it. And it was basically just circling around. And I got hit again. Honestly, I don't even know what I had to shoot for. That guy was a rogue, I think. The one that I... I uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do this and talk at the same time. And my brain can only do one. Oh my god, just die. Jeez. That guy was a rogue, so honestly, at any time, he could just come out of nowhere and kill me. Which is scary. Um, I'm stuck. I am upset. I just noticed my HP. Oh, if I use my thing, I'm gonna die. If I had used my spell there, which I was about to, I'm pretty sure I would have died. Keep running into something over there that's stopping me. Just die already. Oh my god, it's dead. Hey, hopefully that didn't destroy the microphone. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna grab it. I'll check it out later if I survive. But, um, I just like sighed in relief straight into my microphone. So I'm not sure if that, if that made a loud sound. If so, I apologize. Wow. Um, I need this for a quest. I'm happy I managed to get away from, from that rogue. I was 100% gonna have a bad time. Let's have this little issue in which it cut off every so often. I don't know what to do to fix it. So for a second there, I couldn't hear anything. And that scared me. It would be very bad if I were to lose audio at a very important moment. I don't need any of that. Oh, let's see. I need to find an exit. There is a stairway. Not that way. Down this way. Oh, is that where I came from? Because that. Oh my god. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people have died. I don't know how many people around. Is that a ring I just picked up? I feel comfortable when that way. It's so dark. I don't know if there's a rogue waiting for me there. I should look at the stuff that I have on me, but honestly, I'm just so scared. See, where can I find an exit that leads to the central? That door over there led to the center of the map, which there is a lift there. But it's usually very PvP oriented. And I just don't know where I am. Let's see, let's let's take stock. What do I have, family? True physical damage, magic rate reduction, buff duration. I don't know if the buff duration will do much. I don't think I have anything that counts as a buff. Oh, jeez. I honestly don't really know where to go. Think. 
I think I heard him move from it. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, that hit me? Okay. And I'm super slowed. Cool. Trying to look if there's any doors that are open. So I know if I'm... It's like I'm safe. Alright, I need to find a way out. I should open this up, just... This will be the last chest I open. Ah, oh, there's a rope. Where you shine this moon. Oh wait, I have been here before. I'm taking this because it's a Maggie better. This as well. I don't know what's on the stats. I'm just taking it. This is this is green, so I'll take it. There is a rope bridge on the other side. I'm gonna go take that. I'm gonna make sure I get out of here. Oh, it's not been. And it's still here, Cory. I'm out. I, I, the, wait, actually. There is. There is not. Hmm. Ooh. I made him sick. I want stuff. Wait. Let me take stuff. No. My greed. My greed will mean my undoing. It's very much possible that I'm the last player on this map right now. I'm not gonna risk it. Get me out of here. Uh, excuse me? Hello? Uh, can I not use it? Get me out. Oh god. In a tight spot. Okay. I have two minutes. I have time. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. I can't flame walker. He'll probably kill me. Oh, I'm gonna get body blocked. Oh, I'm gonna get body blocked. Greed. The greed. And the fear. If I had... If I had taken my time and cleared the room, I could have survived. At least the goblins on top, I would have survived. But I just... If I hadn't gone through those crates, uh, the base, I knew that in that little cave area, sometimes they, they, they spawn a uh, treasure, because I saw it once. I was like, hmm, I just go grab it real quick and then leave. Nah. Nah. Well, no success in this video. But if this video is uploaded, then it is a personal success. Because, geez, I've tried so many times. I'm very much hoping that there are no issues this time. Alrighty, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.